It's the Channel Mom Show, celebrating you with Jenny Dean Schmidt. Brought to you by the Healthy Marriage Project. Just click on one of their ads to find out about a healthy relationship workshop near you. Um, my commentary this morning is about how we as moms, dads, and children and families handle this tragedy of the recent shooting here in Colorado. Unfortunately for Shelly and for me, Friday's early morning shooting brings back memories. Both Shelly and I went through the shooting in some way or another at Platte Canyon High School six years ago because both of our husbands happened to work at Platte Canyon. Of course, in that shooting, there was one victim, 16-year-old Emily Keys a very sweet girl who was known in one way or another by both of our families, both Shelley's and mine. Platte Canyon's shooting came after the massacre at Columbine, and of course Colorado has also suffered through several church shootings. And now this, the theater shooting. I'm not going to tell you how you must view this tragedy, but I will gently suggest a few things based on my background having to have go, you know, gone through the Platte Canyon situation. First, and this is obvious, allow this tragedy to remind you of what matters. Over the last 24 hours, I've been praying to God on behalf of the families of the victims. I've also been thanking God for my own blessings, and I've been reminded once again of the value of my own family. I hope the same for you as you reflect on this tragedy. Secondly, this is an opportunity to talk to your children about your love for them and about how we should respond to evil about how we can offer compassion. And thirdly, because I'm a Christian, I believe that we are called to view the victims' families as brothers and sisters. We are called to pray for them and to reach out to assist if we can through donating blood or money or cards. We can also just offer kindness to one another as a way of rising above the evil that played out in that movie theater. Do not miss this opportunity to turn beauty out of the heap of ashes, to shine light into the darkness. Tell your kids today how much you love them. Talk to them. Help them so they do not feel the pain of abandonment and rejection and neglect that sometimes turns people into violent shooters. Love your neighbor just a little bit better. Forgive those who have hurt you so it doesn't become a festering wound waiting to erupt. None of these are demands upon you that I'm making. They are simply suggestions to make good out of bad. Because here at Channel Mom, we actually believe that one of our job requirements is to minister to moms. Moms who have suffered loss or violence or rejection. Moms who are single and struggling or facing divorce. Or moms who've suffered tragedies like yesterday's. Or suffered through the loss of a child or spouse. This is the very reason why Channel Mom exists, to help mothers. So I hope that uh, that's a blessing to you. Tough day yesterday, Shelly. Yesterday, my son had a hard time. He also went through the Platte Canyon yeah. shooting. And I had to remind, he kept saying, Mom, I feel like something else bad is going to happen on top of this. And I had wow. to say, eventually it probably will. Yeah. But our hope is not here. Yeah. Our hope is in eternity. Well, and that brings me to the fact that we've got a guest coming up to talk about that. Right. So, so, so thank you for, for leading into that. Um, I happen to book a man named Ni uh, Cecil Murphy, who just happens to be the author of 90 Minutes in Heaven, and also Making Sense When Life Doesn't, The Secret of Thriving in Tough Times. So this man is truly prepared to talk to us about how we handle yesterday's events. Uh, and we will look forward to talking to him about that book and 90 Minutes in Heaven. So please stay, stay tuned.